it's Trisha Novotny here and today I am going to prepare a new crock pot meal or slow cooker meal in my new slow cooker mate. Um, if you joined us this week at 24 7 Moms Live, you were there and you heard us talking all about the um, use of a crock pot and how it can really bring dinner back to your table in a simple way. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this new crock pot that I came across, um, how I can do a complete meal in one crock pot and I can leave the house and it'll be cooking and when I come home, my side dishes will be done and so will my main dish. The first thing that I did is I took, um, there's two chambers to it and this is the first one. So this is the first dish and I made a meatloaf and I stuck it in the bottom of it. And so we'll go ahead and put that inside the actual uh, crock pot itself. Now the slow, this is my slow cooker mate. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make the two side dishes. And the two side dishes are gonna go inside of this pan. And this pan has two compartments, as you can see. In one, I've already put my frozen green beans in. So all I did was buy a package of frozen green beans from the grocery store, on sale, ladies threw it inside of here, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little butter on top of it. And you can add salt and pepper, whatever you like seasoning. But we're just gonna add a couple little um, slices of butter on top of it, so that when it's cooking, it melts into it and kind of seasons it a little bit. I know a lot of butter, but we like a lot of butter in our house. So that's all I have to do for the green beans. Then I'm gonna make a three cheesy potato recipe. And so I took um, frozen hash browns, just whatever brand you prefer, and I took three cups of them, put them in a bowl, they're frozen already. I'm gonna add a half cup of Swiss cheese, a half cup of cheddar cheese, and then I'm going to add a jar of um, cheesy um, Alfredo sauce, and I just used the store, you know, some I bought the store. And so I'm gonna use a uh, one 10 ounce can jar of this, and I'm gonna mix it in. And then I'll just kinda push that down just a little bit so it cooks a little bit in there. Easy. And I'm gonna stick it right on top of the meatloaf that's underneath it. I'm gonna put my lid on it. Make sure my lid is fastened down good and tight. And and then I'm going to set the timer. And this has a digital timer, which is wonderful because it actually, I think, goes up like to 18 or 19 hours. And I can put it, I'm going to put this on for six hours. And I'm going to choose my temperature, which is wonderful. And I'm going to choose low. And off we go. And ladies, we'll let you know later on tonight when the Novotnies eat their meal how it tastes. Thanks for joining me at 24-7 Moms.